This is Generations Connect. Welcome back to Generations Connect podcast. And today we have the music episode and we've got with us our very own car girl, Rahima Rahim. Hi. And Rahima, we've got to mention the fact that you are our very, very proud recipient of the cultural medallion. Uh, Malula. Malula. <laughs> and joining us today, we have Daniel, our intern, mm-hmm. uh, who's humming away. What, what are you humming to? Well, it's called Late Night Talking. That's the song from Harry Styles. Actually, mm. it's quite popular now. I've been he- hearing it on radio quite often. Mm-hmm. I'm sure, Rahima, you've heard it before. No, right? never. Really? <laughs> Harry Styles girl. I only listen to vintage radio. Of course, oh, of course. my girl. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is actually a podcast series where we invite our youths and our seniors together to share the views and insights so that we get a better understanding of the different perceptions based on the generations and even help bridge the intergenerational gap. You know, when we talk about music, everybody has their own choice of music, yeah, preferences correct. and all this, right? But we'd like to just to discover, Rahima, yes. what's your favourite song? I have many favourite songs. Uh, apart from those that you <laughs> sing? Apart of those, I, I mean, I've sung, it's all chosen. Oh, yeah. okay. It's like, because it's work. Right. But uh, for me... My favorite songs are more like jazz, you know, like jazz, not really, lyric, yeah, like jazz music, and uh, songs with lyrics meaningful for me, right? Know, which I can, I relate mean, to? feel relate to myself. Mm. Yeah. yeah, that's a very personal yeah. thing, isn't it? Yes, yes. Yeah, and I, and I think it, it's great because the thing is, you perform your mostly non-jazzy stuff mm-hmm. and, and a lot of traditional in Malay yes. and all that, right? So, and you even venture into. Chinese songs when you can. Yes, because request. Oh, all requests. The all the organizers. All work, yeah, work, mm. all work mainly. Okay. What about you, Daniel? I mean, in your less than 20 years of existence. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, since Rahima is here, I must say, God is done Bunga. Yeah, I'm oh, surprised. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's I'm like surprised big, that, yeah, yeah mm. you know, because I recorded the song 1982. Before oh. he was born? Yeah. Really? That, that long? Yeah. yeah. Wow. So oh, this song got potential, right? Yeah, I'm going to sing it again. Got potential it's well. very popular on TikTok. <laughs> it's, it's a composer, actually. <laughs> but yeah, that song, I started to notice it or take note of it when it was viral on TikTok. Yes. And it was something that, oh, it's like part of a childhood because my parents, my mom and my aunt will always play that song uh-huh. and we'll hear it on late radio stations. Yeah, yeah. So it's nice to see these kinds of songs, you know, still being relevant mm-hmm. despite 40 years mm-hmm. of it being produced but I guess for me other genres that I'm interested in would be Mm -hmm. K-pop and then normal pop as well like English pop Normal mm-hmm. pop. Normal that's, pop. That's, that's a nice way of putting it. <laughs> so, um, Daniel, I'd just like to ask, right, since you belong to the younger generation, what's the oldest form of radio or music that you've consumed? Like, I mean, what, oh. what kind of medium? You talk about oh, radio. I mean, CDs, but that's not all, right? <laughs> well, that's all by your standards. Yes, huh? yeah. So CDs is as far as you go back. I would say so. I've never touched a vinyl before. Or like a record player. I think even cassette tapes, I've never seen. Wow. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Wow. What about you, Rahima? Of course, I've seen all. <laughs> <laughs> and okay. I heard that CDs are coming back. CDs are mm-hmm. coming back? Yeah. yeah. Why? There's no more CD players. But K-pop, it's coming example, back. It's coming in back. all K-pop albums, they have CDs. Really? So yeah. even today, there are still CDs in albums. So, I don't think so, anybody so plays it. keep I your think, CDs. Yeah. I, I have a theory. I think Korea is trying to, you know, rehash the, mm. this business for CD players. Yeah, it's just like vinyl is coming back after That's many, right. many years. Yeah. So now CD is coming back. Okay, but we go back, mm. all right? Um, cassette tapes. Mm. You've, you've, you know what that is. Yes, la, yes. Right? How far back do you go, Rahima? From cassette to vinyls? The vinyls? Is no, it vinyl like, first, then cassette. Vinyls first, then, uh. so, so, okay, have you played with vinyls that need to go at 76 RPM? Yes, my my dad. Your dad's collection. Yeah, yeah. Right? The one you throw can kill people, right? <laughs> Heavy. <laughs> yes, and exactly. then, when I want to put the, you know, the, the turn, turn table, like the, the needle, needle yeah. uh, it's like, ah, my father would scream, hey, hey, don't spoil my record. No, huh? no, 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 your father would go, hey, don't spoil yeah, the record. He's got yeah. a nice voice, by uh, the way. I already know when he talk nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Singapore's Nat King Cole. <laughs> still remember that. So before the albums, before the vinyls, mm. have you played around with 8-track? Eight 8-track? Eight hmm. like, uh, Those big cartridges where you stick into the player and it just plays. That one only on station, only I saw that. Oh, when yeah, you're in the radio yeah, station. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember reels those. Reels. Oh, yeah, the that's open reels. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Those were... I feel so left out. Yeah. <laughs> I don't understand I, anything. You know, just, just to bring you up to speed, right? Back in the day when people talk about cut and paste a tape, yeah. right? You're literally cutting the yes, tape. Yes, Is yes, it? yes. And then you have to paste it together. Yes. And then like I, saw, I saw yes. my dad did oh. it. Like, ah. Put it and then they cut. 
and then they join it and then they tip it back. And exactly. Then wow. And then you have to like wind it back and then if you cannot yeah. the wrong place or just hey, yeah. <laughs> redo, it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Mm. So now with technology, mm. you're literally cut and paste using a computer. Yes. But last time it was very literal. Mm. Lit, tick the scissors. Cut and the and I think that's genius, you know. I mean, doing it without like digital because I it's a it's skill. Classic. Yeah, yeah, it's like you doing it like that. Mm. Yeah, but you cut the wrong place, huh? You ah, can start la. crying. <laughs> <laughs> so far, okay lah. <laughs> so Rahima, coming back to today, you know, uh, when we talk about streaming and all this, and you being on Vintage Radio, you do listen to streaming audio lah. Yeah, yeah. Apart from Vintage Radio, do you really consume any other forms of audio through streaming? No. You don't? <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Because I think for the younger generation, that's like the only way we listen to songs nowadays, even on radio. Yeah, because radio, because yeah. you are listening, mm-hmm. because we, are, for me, I'm a singer, so I'm, I'm tired of... <laughs> Ah. So you tired of listening because you sing a lot. Yeah. Mm. Okay. It's, it's it, like, to me, it's like listening is like work already. Yeah. <laughs> In some ways, you're correct. So coming back to, to music, right? So Daniel, I'd like to ask you, you consume music through YouTube right, and, right. and uh, Spotify and yes. all this, right? What to you is the difference between listening to, let's say, a radio station mm-hmm. versus listening to a service like Spotify or YouTube? I think generally, it's the sense of control. Like for Spotify, you still get to choose the kind of songs that you want. You get to select the next song or change genres immediately. But for radio, it's very limited lah, or restrictive in a sense where, oh, if I want to listen to Malay music, there's only one station for that. Yeah. Or if I want to listen to English, it'll be in another station. As compared to Spotify, I can choose, okay, this song is Malay, then next song is English, then jump, jump back to another language or something like that. So uh-huh. I think it's the selection of being able to choose you know. So, so in other words, you can be your own DJ, lah. Exactly, yeah. Ah. But listening to radio, there's also a difference, isn't it? It's right? definitely different. I think because there's always like commercials, uh-huh. there's the DJs. Like imagine you crying at night, then got music playing in the background, right? Then suddenly DJ comes on, and that was <laughs> so and so. <laughs> like ruins your mood, I guess. But with on demand, you get to choose and then like have a soundtrack prepared, lah. I guess. Mm. Wow. So what about the DJs? Uh? <laughs> well, to me, the I, I would think that, you know, the DJ on the radio station is somebody that helps to set the mood. Yes, mm, yes. You know, and uh, to be a friend that actually speaks to you and, and listens to yes. you in some ways. Like, of course, when you call the station right. or you call the DJ and talk. I prefer that mm. because just listening to music all the way, quite monotonous for me. Yeah, quite boring. Yeah. 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 So actually for you at For least, me, I like to listen to someone to accompany me or, you know, you can listen like, oh, the weather today is like, mm, and then, you know, the song is like about, you know. It's so somebody nice. actually talking to you on yes, the radio. Yes, you don't feel lonely. Mm. <laughs> Whereas listening to just music yeah. alone and you put your own playlist, that's kind of me, because, myself and I. Because right? if I put it on a playlist myself, I will be doing something else like washing clothes or sweep the floor, <laughs> you know, walking around. Mm. Because it's it's just listening. Right. It's not like um, sitting down and just listen. No. Yeah. For me, because for me, sitting down listening is work. Right. Because I have to concentrate. And, and then you've got to listen to it whether, hey, the singer, tak boleh lah. Boleh lah. All singers are singers. But I think that's where the, the generation differs. Mm-hmm. Like for the younger generation, we prefer to do work while listening to music. Like it's more of a background thing. So we like to multitask. So sometimes when I do homework uh, or when I do my assignment, yes, yes. I will need music. My granddaughter, mm. my grandchildren did that. I said, how you all study with all this <laughs> noise? Huh? Because for me, it's like quiet. Then I can concentrate. But for them, they will put on loud speaker music. Like I can even hear when they even... Use so the headphones are on and yeah, you, you can hear. Yeah. Like, oh, okay. Interesting. Right? And then they do their exam and mm. their test. And it's, they do well. Lah. Yeah. Oh. But, but <laughs> why? why? Why do we need that? For me, ear is very But sensitive. then if it's silent, it's very weird. Because like, I don't know, I think it's when you're engaging your other senses, you kind of are more... F- I don't know. I really don't know. I think like it's feel very empty when it's there's just, no music. It's just... It's just the earth yeah. moving. Evolution. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's an interesting thing because, um, you know, for younger kids or for the younger generation, right, somehow most of them need music somewhere yes, in the yes. background so that they can then study, focus on yeah, something yeah. else, right? And without music, suddenly it's like, it's very strange, it's very quiet. Yeah. But interestingly also, if you do visit, let's say an activity center mm-hmm. or something or a place, mm-hmm. when there is music, it seems to be livelier. Correct. Yeah. yeah so it, it kind of sets the mood as yeah, well. Yeah, depends on what music they play, especially <laughs> at, like you go to restaurants, like, you know, uh. Uh, in, in shopping centers and then you, okay, just 
you walk into a Indonesian restaurant or Japanese restaurant, it's not the eating, you know, dining music. It's like, and I cannot know. I like, wow, it's like piercing my ears. Like interestingly, Rahima, what you've mentioned, there are actually studies uh-huh. on the kind of music that you can play at certain places, yes. be it a shopping center or a restaurant, where it then sets the mood. Yes. For you to buy yes, more. Yes, correct. Or to eat more, They sh- They should play like that, right? But. I I see now nothing. Everything everywhere is the same. Like just got music or noise kind Like some stores will tune into the radio stations. Tune into the radio mm. station is fine, but right. when they start to play the like okay, certain restaurant like okay like Vietnamese restaurant for mm-hmm. instance, I went in uh, you know one of the restaurants in in Orchard Road like so Orchard Road like you go into the restaurant you expect like okay dining music should be a bit low because you Correct. want to eat right yeah. but this was so loud and. <laughs> in English, you know, I mean, all in America. I mean, of course, uh, American music, all, mm. but it's it's not stationed, so you don't feel comfortable. Like I want to get. So it's probably somebody in the restaurant going like, like oh, today yeah, I'm it's working time. Uh, it's working time. <laughs> oh, I'm young, you know. I play the music. Like, okay, like what else? It's not happy. Eat faster. Eat it's faster. It's for them, not for us. Yeah, oh. but it's, that is wrong. You know, actually, it's for the diners. Actually, well, interesting for you to say that again because uh, they don't enjoy, manage it. I enjoy. Going to um okay to salon which like you have nice music and very soothing mm. and I loved going to some places like a dentist and the music my God just listening to the sound is like wow oh, I feel so good I don't mind to go see the doctor the dentist <laughs> and after I go Gee! yeah you can just feel <laughs> okay okay like you know yeah. so it calms you down actually so music is like sound it's all about sound right. But I don't know about now the children like mm. if no bang ma. <laughs> <laughs> so in essence I think we can uh, agree that music kind of sets the mood that is yes. important in our lives it's Correct. just there you know and if you use it correctly but it's, it's all the time I, I notice the youngsters like now it's all the time like, you know the big box sound and it's no like, like, I think it's only the kids that you happen to see There's, no I, but I do see that. actually a I lot, agree a lot, yeah. a lot. I think really? with this fast paced you just walk to Esplanade you know you just walk you can hear the big hey, but sometimes I'll match my steps to the song eh. mm. so if it's a fast beat song I'll walk faster yeah right <laughs> so, so if I need to rush it's to just somewhere the trend. I'll it's, play uh, a fast beat trend, song uh. To me, it's true. Yeah. So I'd like to ask you, Daniel, if you can categorize mm-hmm. the music into eras, which era would be your go-to? Oh gosh! I mean, before coming to vintage radio, for example, I've always thought you know the current songs are good lah. Mm-hmm. But nowadays, I think a lot of songs lack creativity because mm-hmm. it's all sampled from old songs. Mm-hmm. Do you notice that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. a lot. <laughs> a lot of the current songs you thought is like original until when I was listening to vintage radio, mm. I heard this song from Stevie Wonder called I Just Called. Mm. I Just Called uh, to Say I Love yeah, You. Okay, that's, yeah, that's, that's, that's the full song. Full song, yeah. But I realized, hey, I've heard that melody before and realized yeah. that the song by Anne Marie was called I Just Called and she sampled or the producer sampled from the original song. Mm-hmm. So I was like, hey, a lot of the song that I thought I like nowadays were actually samples from the past. Mm-hmm. And also the lyrics are very nice, right? I mean, meaningful. Like Stevie Wonder, I love his yeah. songs. I think, um, you know, Rahima, the thing yeah. is that songs from the past yes. usually emotes or talks about a certain experience yes. life story and all this in a nice leisurely pace mm-hmm. um, whereas nowadays it's like you know I don't know I notice a lot of songs of the past gives a story yes. like it's a whole story from start to end but then the songs of today are very situational mm. like oh you met this girl at a club then that's just it but then <laughs> I, guess, I guess songs from the past like oh I met this girl at a club then yeah. get married we go on a date and we have children it's like there's story behind the music of the past but yeah. now it's very so last time the music the, the story yeah. was more developed like, yeah. now it's just an idea correct mm. I would say so you know when I was uh, asked to sing one of the songs uh, new songs like by this young singer like cut cut cake cut, cutting what there's a cake for New Year's Eve you know at yeah. the Suntech City I said the lyrics is what lyric is this you know like okay but I just sing because of the it's because of the sound you know but the lyrics is terrible 
I don't Let know. me say it for you. There's Terrible. no meaning. <laughs> but and then again, even though the lot, I do see the songs of the mm. past still have a story. I do like the song of today, though, like the kind of melody yes. or the sound of it, lah. Cause it's more upbeat. Okay, like Malay say lah, tangkap mm. sedap lah. Mm. Like, tangkap muat aja, tangkap muat. Mm. Like you, Malay, I don't know what you capture. Uh, tangkap muat lah. You just yeah, right. So it's a like cut and paste or so. Yeah, like, just fill in the blank. Like, just yeah, grab and go. Yeah. But but to be fair, to be honest as well, there are singers nowadays in the new era that do come up with very good music. Mm, I agree. I think artists like. Harry Styles and I think even Megan Trainer have like evolved their music style to fit the current trends and tastes. So yeah, I think there are a lot of new songs and artists as well that are still good today, lah, or still worthy of mention. Right, but um, I guess today, especially now with with technology and and social media and all this, really there's a lot of stuff coming out, mm. good and bad. Whereas previously. When you talk about you know music being exposed, it does go through a kind of filter yeah. mm. through the record companies, correct, through the producers. Correct. Yeah, and through our age also. Yeah. For instance, like he, how old are you now? Nineteen. Nineteen, eh? Would he listen the same music when he's thirty? No. Hey, why not? Same music <laughs> that now. I don't see why not though. Because the no the sound is like you, you don't understand the lyrics and then it's like. I still will go back again, mm. go back again. That means I still will listen songs Always from the sixties, fifties. You know that will bring. You can change the tempo or you can change the arrangement, but the song still stay as classic, mm, right. even when you are thirty. Maybe when I'm thirty, the songs then will be yes. not nice, lah. So I'll listen to what I grew up with. Yeah, maybe. you know. But Rahima, is it very interesting for you to say this because I noticed that on Vintage Radio. Um, a lot of our listeners actually still like to listen to the original versions, yes. not the yes. covers and the updated versions. Yes. And it's coming back, actually. It's going backwards. The Okay, music is like universal. I mean, it's going round and round, round and right? Round round and round and cycle, round. Yeah. But it's going back to my father's time already, mm. having all the musicians in the studio with the violins and everything, and the singers are there. Right. So and they're kind of doing a one take lah. Yes. In the old days of recording. Yes, ah. and they still have it now. Right. This is what coming back. And uh, I find this is more interesting because you can see the creativity and the, you know, the ability, the talent that the, the, yeah, yeah, the, yeah. the artists have. So it's not so much as sampling and all those no, sound no, no, adjustments yeah, on, yeah. but really it's a live performance. Yeah, it, yeah, is, yeah. it is. And then never mind, mm. we don't see anymore. Okay, we cut and paste this one. Okay, it sounds nice. That sounds yeah, the same. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, you no. See? We just put in the hundredth take of that song. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> so so now they are going back. They are, they are having that, especially in Indonesia. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because Indonesia is more to jazz music. Right. So uh, you can see the, the Indonesian songs in, in Indonesian. They are the, the element music are more to jazz and modern jazz. Mm-hmm. So I still like to hear their song. So for you, Rahima, being in music itself and being a performer, what you would like to hear more of if I can say that would be you know real musicians coming up doing these kind How of you know, recordings yeah. and, and I, I enjoy going to I mean now COVID is no more right? I mean they're still around but yeah. uh, we open up like. yeah open up and I still go to concert hmm. like uh, listening to the the guy there standing up young or old or whatever right. but I appreciate that more you you basically like I a live performance yes mm. even at the concourse you know mm. all the youngsters yeah. and when you see them performing you feel good you know like wow so yeah, crazy yeah because you can yeah. feel the energy and the emotion yes but I think Aloysius you mentioned a very good point when you know, back in the day, mm. a lot of the songs are, are filtered because a lot of record companies, mm. right? Then nowadays, almost anybody can create a song because of technology. Mm. And I think, I don't, are you on TikTok? No. But a lot, I think a lot Sometimes of, I have to lah. Mm, a lot of songs. <laughs> <laughs> I have to when they ask me. <laughs> but a lot of the songs that are actually popular actually came from TikTokers who produce music at home. Mm-hmm. Then I hear it a lot on the radio, even on Spotify. Even, even the guy, the Malay guy, um, he did the Piramli song again mm. with his own uh, version on TikTok. Mm. Also become popular. Yeah. yeah. I th- well, the, so it's just a trend. Uh. It is the trend. And I think if we look at it, today, nowadays, when you have technology and you have social media, it is an opportunity for more people to be able to be discovered. Yeah. But at the same time, because of that, everybody wants to be discovered, you yes. get a lot of stuff being it's, released. The quality is not there. Last yeah, time. there's no QC. Yeah. So, and, and everybody's baby is the most beautiful, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. 
All right, so now it's time for that part of the podcast show that we have what we call the game segment. And this is where we're going to ask you questions, both of you, Daniel and Rahima. Yes. No worry, and- I feel. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. You never know. So first of all, I'm going to give a question to you, Rahima, with, uh, it's a very simple, it's multiple choice. So you, the, the answers are there, you just have to figure out which one. Ah, boleh hanta. Okay, so here we go. Which K-pop group was nominated for the Grammy Awards in 2022. Let me ask you a question again. K-pop Which K- yes. K-pop group was nominated for a Grammy Award in 2022? So we have um, choices for you. Okay. Right. A. Super Junior. Uh-huh. B. Big Bang. Okay. Or C. EXO. D. BTS. Big Bang. Uh. Have you heard of any of them? Like the four. I p- perform with same uh, New Year's Eve. Big Bang. Uh. Big Bang was there when we performed the New Year. You would oh, okay. yeah. oh then you should the join marina, them. And when they have rehearsals, all not allowed to watch. Yeah. All, even the producers of all the program, eyes. no, out, <laughs> out of the scene, you know. Mm. So you think the answer this one is Big Bang? Uh, the answer is Big Bang. Uh. Mm, no, Super Junior. Kind of BTS. BTS. Big Bang no more lah. Answer D. Oh, 20, oh, 2020 lah. Oh, ah, okay. That was my daughter's age in 1995. <laughs> yeah. Maybe you can call a friend and ask your daughter. Okay, never mind. <laughs> yeah, Let's go with question number two, Rahima. Again. Which <laughs> Yes, again. Which artist sang as it was? Is it A, Harry Styles, B, Ed Sheeran, C, Justin Bieber, or D, Drake? Okay, number one. A. Number one, A. A yeah. You're right. Wow. Harry Styles. Okay, and the last <laughs> question for you, Rahima. Which of the following songs was not released, not released in 2021? Is it A, Bad Habits by Ed Sheeran, B, Bad Guy by Billie Eilish, C, Easy on Me by Adele, or D, Butter by BTS? Once again, the question, which of the following songs was not released in 2021? Bad guy. <laughs> Bad guy. That's correct. <laughs> yeah. Rahima secretly like all these songs. Yeah, yeah, they like secretly, yeah. uh, you know, your grandkids are playing it for yeah, you. Yeah, that's the problem. Okay, so Daniel, <laughs> this is now your turn. <coughs> all right, you got to beat her. Yeah, yeah. Okay, here we go. Thank you, thank you. Here we go. <laughs> all right, for Daniel, your question is, which of the following is not a Beatles song? Is it A, Hey Jude, B, Let It Be, C, Can't Help Falling In Love, or D, Here comes the sun. Huh? <laughs> hey Jude, you're here before, but I don't know if it's Beatles. Can't have falling in love shouldn't be... be I want to say that C. Can't have C, falling in love. Yeah, that's right. That's an Elvis oh, Presley song. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well done, not <laughs> I bad. I also don't know if it's Elvis Presley. Oh, two one ready. Okay, here we go. Second question. Which song was not from 1970s? Huh? Okay, which song is not from the 1970s before you were born? Eh? Yes. Here we go. Your four choices. A. Close to you by the Carpenters. B. Dancing Queen by Abba, C, Brown Sugar by the Rolling Stones, or D, Take on Me by Aha. I feel like Abba's one was more recent in the eighties, maybe. So I want to say Abba. Nah. No, no, it is Take on Me by Aha. That's like you know eighties, nineties kind of. Time. Really? Oh yeah. Yes. All right, so it is one right and one wrong. So no. that's it. You either can draw with Rahima or you lose to her. <laughs> okay, here draw we go. La, question, la. question C. What was Elvis Presley's nickname? What was Elvis Presley's nickname? Was it A. The Hound Dog, B. Mr. Nashville, C. The King of Rock and Roll, or D. Mr. Blue Suede Shoes. Okay, I want to guess because you know there's a recent Elvis movie, right? Yeah. And then Doja Cat actually had a play in during the soundtrack, mm. and then a lyric was like saying "Hound Dog." So mm. I'm gonna go with A, Hound Dog. Bam. Huh? No. Blue Suede Shoes. <laughs> no, it's the King. He's the king, king of, of rock, rock and, and roll. roll. Yes. Always I say what? Yeah. Yeah. King, 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 king of rock and roll, like, yeah. Elvis Presley. Ladies and gentlemen. So congratulations, Rahima. You Yay. beat the young one. Yay. Yay. Bye, bye. Bye, one. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. You know, um, through all of this talk, I think what we realize is that music is actually, you know, very personal. Yep. Very much to the individual, what you like, what you don't like, when you want to listen to it, when you don't want to listen to it, you know. But what is common is that it evokes memories. Yes. Yeah. Um, I think you know we we don't refer to music as the soundtrack of your life for no reason because yes. you know okay you can't remember when you were born what song was being played unless you were told but mm. you know. 
probably Rahima, you can remember like you know when your first child was born, the yeah. song, you know, certain songs will remind you that oh yes, this was when I was first on. Got the rain now, it's rain here. <laughs> And there's a history behind that. If you've listened to Music and Me with Rahima, you will know where that came from. Mm. But seriously, you know, music is, is integral in our lives. And, you know, to live without music is, is kind of sad. Like you'll be so quiet. Yes. Right? And music, Only in the library. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, even now in the library, they allow you to listen to music. Very soft. Yeah. Lah. So, but, um, you know, the thing is, is music is pretty much a universal language as well because you can listen to music yeah. from halfway around the world, from a different language, a different culture, a different country, right. and you might find that it's still interesting. Right, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Um, so, you know, I think um, as far as music is concerned, it's also something that um, that can be shared between the generations. Yes. Yes. Right? When you talk about old songs making a comeback, mm-hmm. sometimes you listen to this and then you go, hey, ka, the music, this one, not bad, you know, the singer got... Potential, huh? then I will come and tell you, uh, actually, this one, uh, 40 years ago already. Uh. <laughs> My grandchildren used to say that. Yeah. yeah In I fact, they'll, they'll, they'll continue yeah, to do said, that. Well, well, how do you know how to sing this song? Uh? <laughs> <laughs> say, Never mind. Uh. I wrote it. <laughs> How's that? All the English numbers there. Yeah. How come you know this song? It's like they, they wonder, you know. Yeah, well, it's new to them, yeah, but you know, yeah. it's, it's, it's probably a remake and it is a remake from yeah. back in the day. Yes. Hmm. So, Rahima, thank you so much for taking time out. Thank I know it's, you. you know, you're super busy <laughs> nowadays with so many things happening. Thank you. Yeah. Um, any final thoughts about music for you? Mm, final thoughts. Keep on listening to songs. <laughs> Not Vintage Radio SG. <laughs> no, I can't say that. Can I say it? Yes, you can. Oh, keep on listening to Vintage Radio SG. <laughs> Please do. All is ageless. <laughs> and what about for you, Daniel? I think as what Rahim must say, I think what you say as well, it's very universal and keep on listening as well. Yeah. I think it's exciting to see how much music has evolved, how we consume it and it's great to see old songs coming back and yeah. helps, you know, make us more connected like, between the generations yes. yeah. and then to remember what's it like in the Correct, past yeah. and also know what's happening exactly so this is the music edition of the Generations Connect podcast brought to you by C3A on Vintage Radio SG if you like this episode uh, there are other episodes for Generations Connect that uh, we would like to encourage you to listen to and if you want to learn more about the various causes and activities that you can take part in as seniors you can visit C3A's website at www.c3a.org.sg And this has been Generations Connect. Bye! Bye. Generations Connect. 